Hi everyone and welcome to Gallantry. This is episode one of our new Let's Play of L.A. Noir. This is one of my favorite games ever. And um, it's just going to be me, Ariel, today because, fun fact, we started recording this series and we ended up losing our very first episode. So I'm just going to blaze through these cases up until where we started on episode two. So basically it's just the entirety of this first case upon reflection and then just the introduction into Armed and Dangerous. So we didn't really miss much, but we didn't just want to post a first episode or a second episode in the middle of something that didn't really make any sense. So this is also a good um, chance show off the you can go select cases deal because I've never actually Marine, used that but deal with the chain of command this is get made, but you deal our very first you know what you're fighting for that you're intro um but dealing with corruption is like chasing I've man. never done a let's play alone before so bear with me that this is gonna be awkward <laughs> normally I have Amy and Marissa with me but um we're just gonna start off like this, unfortunately, we don't get the entire introduction into the actual game. Um, but we're going to start off with our protagonist, Cole Phelps, here. And his partner, whose name I don't know, but we're going to get it. And this is just your uh, basic four tutorial cases. We're going to learn how to drive, which I'm very bad at in this game. Um, the driving mechanics, not great. I'm also just not great driving in video games. Sunshine himself. Um, so right now we're gonna go to this shooting. I'm not gonna hit this car. There we go. Um, another thing about this game, it does take place in the 1940s. Where there was lots of racism and sexism. So just a heads up on there, we do have couple cases down the line. Oh look, there's Rusty. Um, I talk about him with Amy a lot. Rusty is one of, he's my favorite um, partner that you get. I was going to say companion, that's not the right word. He is my favorite partner that you get. You get him for probably the heaviest cases, which is on the homicide desk. He's the, he's the old hardened cop. Um, and Phelps is, you know, young. This is new to song. everything. Going through the motions. So we're gonna just use left trigger to right, walk, and then we're gonna run. And luckily, I have played this. Um, so we round, see. You get that little noise when um, you're near something you can pick up. That's just a bottle. It's not necessary to the case, because you can pick up stuff that um, is doesn't pertain. That's just hang. Luckily, I have played this game at least three or four times. We're gonna go to this giant ass blood spot here. Um, and I should be able to get through this pretty quickly. Against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter ben. how you go once you're gone. I'm pretty sure this is just a crime of racism. So then you can just open up, look at locations, clues. Um, Personally, I love that there's a little little shading that happens on a trash for everyone. See, yeah, I just love that. You know, for the purpose of the game, you get all this, but the idea that Cole Phelps just there's it. Ralph. Something on the Climb roof. up to the roof. How the hell did you see that? Ralph, that's a reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Hanging out here. Um to this side. And we're gonna climb up this pipe. To the gun. I always wonder, like how you get the gun up without anyone noticing or without the gun going off. Do these homicide guys think we are? That's just 
personally me. Wesson, serial S71893. Further. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. What happened in We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. So now I have a new clue. You don't have to check every time. We have the gun, Cole. Yeah. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. Um, place a couple of blocks from here. I think that they say this. Okay, well, now we're going to go to the gun store. But I think that they say this in the beginning of the game. We get an intro with sure the really uh, narrator who is doing some digging. The suit's been personally one of my favorite parts of the game. Just with the drama. Um, but uh, You'd rather round up Phelps the fought the in World War II. I'd rather get through and then they'll say later. Put up my ass. It'll um, be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Um, it's exam week. See so a little chime when you walk past them. We have everything that we need. Um. Wake up, Cole. Yeah, we're done here. Um. It's trick me up because normally, and I'll say it. I think in the no, it says it in uh, the like next few ones um, that the music will if you press and hold Y, you can drive. Your partner can drive, and then you'll just skip driving, which is what I like to do, unless I have to, because there's gonna. But normally the music um, stops or they they end the uh, the crime scene music with all the clues. And I guess that doesn't. Here is our guns and ammo. Gold handle doors were allowed you to end. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. When you play this game as an inexperienced uh, 15 year old with an Xbox. Nickel plated with pearl. That's pearls. helpful. Same gun used by General Pat. Run it. You're not suggesting he's the owner. No. Um, you seem to know a lot about the weapon. I mean, I just ran I sold in general. I didn't get proficient fire. at the. These babies? I didn't get good at playing Xbox. Here's my Maybe 16 order. or 17. Mind if I take a look? When I got Skyrim from my brother. Because bad, that right? game is a dick. And I know I play a lot of old Model games. Twenty-seven with pearl grip. I have an upgraded to an Xbox One. Um, just move around and press. Find whatever I'm looking for. I'm looking for specifically. There we go. We're in love. That one. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glest. I mean, you can also, you know, not do that and actually do what they describe and what Thanks. You've been a big information help. you're given. Anytime. Or you can just be me and just move around and press. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Only the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. It doesn't okay. prove, but it's mostly. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. So now we're gonna go, go over to this guy's apartment. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One um, murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three um, I don't remember what I was about to say. Again, this is kind of awkward, and hopefully we never have to do this again. But, you know, technology is amazing, and deleted, or misplaced, and coded wrong, and you can't find them. And I have a Mac, and Amy has a Toshiba, so we also have that in the mix. 
and honestly, not a huge fan because I like them. And we are working on getting a um, getting a capture card for um, computers. So my class back east. Hello, friend. Um, I'm just gonna enter. Are you drunk, uh, Hopefully, bring you some a lot of other games. Besides uh, just uh, Wii, GameCube, and Xbox. And Amy has a Wii U, but we we don't really have a lot of game. Oh, that dude is like an apartment too. Um, we're gonna knock on his door. So let's... What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn. Wilshire Division. Officer Dunn, that's Did his name. Ralph Dunn. Lesson, model 27. Me too. They completed man. with pearl grips. I'm it's uh, exam week, so Amy and I. Then you'll be surprised. A little burnt out. Was murdered tonight. Stressed, but uh. You're out of your mind. This is one of my favorite games ever. I really wanted. Well, what I thought. A detective did when I was little. I really wanted to be You're under arrest. one. I was really into uh, Sherlock Holmes when I was a kid. And, uh, oh, okay, so now we're gonna fight. Um, lock, and then we're gonna press A. Um, but, uh, yeah, my, when I was little, my dad used to read to me, um, for bed. I was really into Encyclopedia Brown, because it was, a. Uh, grapple it was a uh, my favorite thing to wow. try and figure out what I'm fine I hardly felt it. the mystery actually was he's lucky he caught me off guard and then uh, I also grew up and keep an eye on him Ralph so now I'm gonna look around um I've never actually looked further than um nope but uh because I don't think we're gonna really get any cutscenes. Um. So yeah, this is another deal, like just showing you that it's not a whole lot um, interesting here. There's only one piece of evidence. I'm just wandering around because I've never. So the evidence is in here. Press A and then eventually. Well, there's Floyd Rose, which. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Floyd Rose was uh, talking to us earlier. It's all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Yep. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Well, that's evidence, my friend. And that is not where you found it. But yeah. But um, I also grew up next to. Um, a detective when um like years ago years ago. okay so now that's done so we're not gonna get any um now we're going to get this case which is gonna um we're just gonna do the start and then it's gonna do everything we're gonna pick it up in the second episode. That's what I'm trying to do. Good at this point. Sorry, friends. Um, but armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. Um, in between that, I think we get our first war flashback, which introduces Phelps, and then um, there's one guy whose name I can never remember, and then this other guy named Kelso. And um, they were all drafted to go um, fight World War Two. And um, we'll take that. It's only a couple. Oh no, we're gonna do the first. We're gonna do two and a half cases. Okay. Um, so Phelps. Um. And Kelso just started getting along, and then slowly they're gonna drift apart and be enemies. And I'm pretty sure the narrator at some point, I think, and then like, oh, they were like, you know, they could have been friends and other. 
All right, don't hit the people while you're on your way there because the game will give you very passive aggressive Take it quick, you guys. Here. Here's the shootout. Um, some people would say that I don't have the best technique when it comes to shooting slash fighting in games, and I would completely agree with them. Um, I just kind of do whatever I have to, sir. Sir. All right, now he's dead. So I think. Clue music, clue hints, action skip. Um, okay. There we go. Um, basically I'm looking for my auto lock. And of course you can't save halfway through in L.A. Noir, so every time you get that little switch is when some cover. There we go. Auto lock. Goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. All right. There we go. There's one dude. Stay down. There he is. There we go. There's the current case that we're working on right now. There we go. All right. Be careful when the screen starts turning gray. There we go. Um, no, he's still a dude. I have shot you multiple times. Um, careful when the screen starts turning gray. I think we got him, Cole. Should be all clear. Because um, that means you're dying. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotgun, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. Phelps is used to this because, oh, there, God, there's, there's, like, a, there's generic paintings that are everywhere, and I'm starting to notice them a little bit more. One of them is three stupid chickens, and it just pops up in random places. All right. So I'm pretty sure we get another war flashback after that. Phelps is, of course, used to shooting a bunch of he earned. Um, I think it's called the Silver Star. It is the Silver Star in World War II. So he's, I guess, cool to shooting or whatever. So now we're just gonna watch the beginning of this. I'm pretty sure there's another war flashback in between these, but I honestly can't remember what it is. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm one. They're on the internet somewhere. Um, so now we're just gonna do a little bit of this. There we go. It's as simple as getting um, two guys who should have been friends. They should have been friends, but the personalities got in the way of situation. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Um, and then we're just going to get more progression of the war as we go on. And Phelps and stay friends. Don't me convinced that Phelps has... In case you can add the war to that. I also agree with that statement, um, that there's, uh, what was it? Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. It's not important. Okay, so here is where we stopped on our second episode. So this actually is a lot longer than I thought. Um, our first episode would have been our normal about a half hour with all the, not, but we just went ahead and did this to um basically so you guys would not be confused when we just bust in on uh, episode two with me chasing this man who looks suspiciously like dr phil so that is it for this episode sorry that's a little awkward guys but um that's just this is just what we had to do and sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches and what you're getting. so that is all for this episode we will return to our regularly scheduled gallantry in episode two. So thank you everyone and we will see you then.